not ironic, oh. Batman. The greatest minds of our generation. And here we are, fighting like animals. Beats me. Strange. Today I feel particularly ridiculous. Oh. You were foolish to drop your gun, detective. Oh, oh I'd hate you to think I'd gone soft. Yeah. Now, you want to play games. <laughs> What weapon was that? Just a batarang. Oh. Now, before I'm tempted to spoil that plastic surgery, <laughs> tell me what brings you here tonight to this alley with that face. A good question, Batman. One that surely deserves an answer. Good. I'd hate to have had to beat one out of you. Oh, there is no need. Oh. The answer is simple. It's your birthday. According to the custom of your people, I have a present for you. No. No. Not here. Cat! No! Mother! Mother! Hi, good morning, Commissioner. Good morning, Ellen. Let me borrow your dictaphone, will you? Sure. Thanks. Uh, Commissioner, have you anything more to say about that explosion in Crime Alley at the weekend? If a car backfiring can make the front page three days late, God help your newspaper, son. What, is there any truth in the rumor that the Batman's gone missing? Go chase ambulances, kid. Morning, Harvey. Uh, Commissioner. Not now, Harvey. Uh, Hold my calls. I don't want to be disturbed. I spilled coffee in that dictaphone. There's coffee in this dictaphone. I know, sir. Have mine, sir. Thanks. Okay. Let's just see what we've got here. Jim, this is the Batman. This tape cassette is to be forwarded to you in the event of my death. Treat what you are about to hear in the strictest confidence. My associates must be protected at all costs. By night in Gotham City, you knew me as the Batman. What you never knew was that by day I was Bruce Wayne. Mm -hmm. For the sake of our... Oh, Moses. I said do not disturb, Harvey. Uh, sorry, sir. There are some lawyers representing the Wayne Foundation on the phone. They want to know if you took delivery of an audio cassette this morning. Uh, yes, I did. Well, it seems like they'd like to know what was on it, sir. Nobody there seems to know who exactly authorized the bailing of it. <laughs> Tell them it's blank, Harvey, and, and get me a car out of the pool. I'll be at Wayne Manor if you need me. Yes, sir. And uh, you still don't want to institute a search for the Batman? Just do what you're told, Harvey. Ashes to ashes. Father. Dust to dust. Father, I swear. I, I swear, swear I'll find him. him. Them. In the sure and certain hope. All of them. Of the life to come. Good morning. Ah, Commissioner Gordon, what a pleasant surprise. Alfred? May I come in? But of course. Thank you. Uh, may I take your coat, sir? Um, no thanks. Look, I think we need to talk, don't you? We do? About our mutual friend. Um... Your, uh, employer, I only heard this morning. I don't know what to say. Master Bruce rang you this morning. No, no, the cassette. In the event of his... My God, you don't know? Obviously I don't, Commissioner. Perhaps you should enlighten me. Alfred, the Batman. Remarkable, Philip. Of course, I'm not sure that I approve of costumed individuals. He's dead. My goodness. Alfred, I need to know when you last saw him. I mean, as Bruce Wayne. As Bruce Wayne? I don't, don't understand. Alfred, you're shaking. There's a very chill draft in this hallway, sir. Why don't I show you to the drawing room? You can speak to Master Bruce in comfort. Huh? Alfred? Commissioner Gordon to see you, sir. Jim! Bruce? Just in time for a snack. How about Eggs Benedict, Alfred? Very good, sir. I can catch him, Mom! I'm as fast as a rabbit! Look at that boy run. Martha, we've got an athlete on our hands. Bruce, what are you going to do when you catch him? Now, don't us? go near that hole! We should get that cave built in, Thomas. Whoops! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I am only six when I first see the cave. Father! Huge. Empty. Father! No, not empty. Waiting. Something shuffles out of sight. Something sucks the stale air. 
and hisses. Mother? Bruce, my love, lie still. Oh. Drink this. You need rest. Sleep. You are safe with me. No, no. Jim, I've got to contact. Jim, by night in Gotham City, you knew me as the Batman. What you never knew was that by day I was Bruce Wayne. For the sake of our friendship, I'm sorry I never told you the truth. But I couldn't take chances, and neither can you. The news of my death could blow the lid off. Yes, honey. Have you seen tonight's paper? It's in the kitchen. My death could blow the lid off this town. And the science and charity work of the Wayne Foundation will never see the light of day. Somebody's trying to kill me, Jim. And this time... It's somebody who seems to know me better than I know myself. I didn't mean where is the paper, Dad. I meant have you seen it? Uh, careful, Barbara. That's scraping the door. You didn't tell me that Batman hasn't been seen in Gotham City for a week. I didn't realize I had to report in. Dad, there is something, isn't there? Uh, they told me being police commissioner in Gotham City would drive me insane. I guess it's time you put me away in Arkham Asylum. <sighs> Don't even joke about that place. I'm, I'm sorry, Barbara. But I'm either crazy or today I saw a ghost. Now, perhaps you should listen to this. Have you finished with the port, Master Bruce? Yes. Thank you, Alfred. You'll be going out tonight. I'll lay out your costume. There's no need. I'm going to bed. Oh, dear. I haven't made the fire up in your room. It's not necessary. I'll see to it first thing in the morning. No. In the morning, I'll need your help. In the bat cave. Oh, spring cleaning already. A new start, Alfred. A new start. Good night, Alfred. Good night, Master Bruce. Hello. This is Wayne Manor. I require a person-to-person -person call. To a Mr. Dick Grayson, New York City. Here's the number. It's somebody who seems to know me better than I know myself. But who? Why? All the evidence suggests someone known to me. One of the few people who's entered the Batcave. Who knows where to meet me today. On my anniversary. His anniversary? What anniversary, Dad? I don't know, Barbara. I hope it's not going to become the anniversary of his death. But you said you saw Bruce Wayne today. This must all be a huge mistake. I don't know. Uh, you think he is... was the Batman? I think something has happened to the Batman, but I don't understand how Bruce Wayne ties in. If the Batman had the foresight to record that message, he's probably put an elaborate plan into action to cover up the fact of his death. And Bruce Wayne and I may be just pawns on the chessboard. Did you tell Bruce anything at all about this? I didn't get a chance. He was too busy explaining his plans for the Wayne Foundation. As I haven't a degree in world economics, his views on acid liquidation were way over Bruce my Bruce is liquidating the Wayne Foundation? Well, you, you didn't think an airheaded playboy would stick to charity work forever, did you? I'm a little surprised, yes. Barbara, the most important thing is to find out what's happened to the Batman. Find out what this anniversary is, where he went, and who he met there. I can help. Now, you just take it easy. You're just... In a wheelchair. Now, that doesn't mean a thing. Okay. Okay. But I've got to put in some street time. Pick up the Batman's trail before it goes cold. Sure, but why don't you write me an access permit to the police department computer room? Hmm? Well, maybe there's a clue in the records to that Batcave reference. Well, if there is something buried in those archives, you'll find it. I could try to tap into his computer... He may still have my voice print on file, unless he trashed it when the Joker put me in this chair. Now, Batman may seem a cold-hearted son of a gun, but I don't believe he'd ever erase Batgirl from his files. Yeah, I wonder. He's tried hard enough to forget Jason. Chasing? Who was he chasing? Are you still here? It's way past your bedtime. Think of a dramatic climb in violent crime statistics at this disturbing news. Early this morning, we spoke to Police Commissioner James W. Gordon about rumors that the Batman may even be dead. There's absolutely no evidence to suggest that the Batman is incapacitated in any way. He may well have commitments outside the city we know nothing of. 
In any case, citizens can rest assured we have a first-class police department who will put the fear of God fear. into any criminal... You the fear of God. I am young. I have wealth. The family manor rests above a huge cave that will be the perfect headquarters. All these things you gave me, Father. All the means. Now I must find the method. How, Father? How do I do it? What do I use to make them afraid? Without warning, it comes. Crashing through the window of the study. Having lost its way back to the cave. It sucks the stale air hisses. I have seen it before somewhere. It frightened me as a boy, and with the fear, the knowledge. Yes, Father. Now I know what I must become. Oh. oh. I'm sorry. Did the TV wake you? Oh. Talia? My love, you must drink. You've got to help me. <gasps> help me get... get home. Dearest, you are home. Wherever I am, that shall be your home. No. No. Things are different now. Your father... My father? He has taken care of everything. Now, rest. No. Oh. There's nothing to do but rest. Read that back to me, Alfred. Um, well, you've arranged for disposal of everything from the trophy room except for the mechanical dinosaur and the giant Lincoln's head penny. Scrap them. What about the garage? Well, as you seem to already have disposed of the current Batmobile... Current Batmobile. The other five are still under their dust sheets, of course. The old red roadster of your father's is a lovely period piece, I must say. Arranged to have everything auctioned anonymously. What about the spare costumes? Burn them. Even the early designs, for old times' sake? Burn them. And do I need to ask you about the computer, Master Bruce? Or shall I take an axe to it immediately? The computer. Have the computer prepared for shipment at once. Shipment? May I ask where? If it falls into the wrong hands, heaven knows what damage might be done. See to it, Alfred. And make sure you buy the strongest possible poison to exterminate these bats. I want this place to be... Damn it, Selena, isn't there anywhere you can sit in this place without squashing a cat? If there isn't, then stand. I'll do that. You are right, I'm so frightened the nasty men's come to arrest mommy. Relax, pussycat, I'm just here to talk to your, uh... Mistress? <sighs> Selena, I need your specialized knowledge. Sure. What can I tell you? Furball, scratching pose, ear dick shedding. I'm an expert. Very funny. When did you last see the Batman? What's his problem? Oh, could be serious. Why should I want to see him? He always treats me like I'm a troublemaker. Well, you are a troublemaker. You're the Catwoman. Besides, there's more to your relationship with him than just prisoner and escort. Hey, back up a little. Come on, Selena. I know there's always been a little something going on between you two. You know zip. Jeez, Gordon, when I started business in Gotham City, you didn't even know whose side the Batman was on. Hell, you even thought he was committing my cat burglary. Sure, and in my position, you'd have done better, right? The only evidence I had was hearsay and superstition. Yeah, that's the kind of evidence the Batman tries to make a case out of. At first, he was only a shadow, a whispered name, a grim symbol at the bottom of the hastily scrolled note we'd find trussed up on a wanted criminal. But slowly, the shadow gained substance. Catwoman, the Joker, Penguin, Two-Face, Hugo Strange, Riddler. Criminals who had constantly eluded my best men were tracked down by this creature and dumped all but gift-wrapped on my doorstep. He became an obsession to me, and when we first came face to face, I froze. And that moment was all he needed to make his escape. Wait! Come back! Hold your fire, Bullock! You're only wasting ammunition! Wow! Did you see the way he looked? In God's name, what kind of a thing are we dealing with? A giant bat? Well, don't shoot it till we find out, okay? Then came the night we finally met face to face, as I sat working late by my office window. Good evening, Commissioner. Who the... That's I... the major difference between us, Commissioner. I don't have to worry about the paperwork. Excuse me for dropping in uninvited. I thought it was about time we had a little talk. Mister, I have only one thing I want to say to you. You're under arrest. Commissioner, we're of a kind, you and I. 
both dedicated to ridding this city of the two-legged parasites who prey upon the innocent. The only difference between us is that my hands aren't bound by red tape. Red tape or otherwise, mister, I'm talking about the law. And I'm talking about justice. You think Gotham's criminals give a damn for the law? Half the judges in this town are in the pockets of the lawbreakers. I love the law as much as you do, Commissioner. But if I have to bend it to see that justice is done, so be it. We're on the same side, my friend. And if you don't believe me, pull that trigger. Damn. I may be making a mistake doing this, but in my business, you learn to trust your intuition. I may not be able to provide you with much public support, but if there's anything else you need, just... Huh? He's vanished again. In all the years I've been the Catwoman, he's been the same, always vanishing. I mean, what are you worried about? Mm -hmm. Listen, Gordon, I don't know anything. If you want to play Cherche La Femme, talk to one of those bimbos that chase him every which way. That dumb reporter, uh, Vicky Vale, Maxine Kelly. Oh, and who's the one with the bazookas? Oh, Silver St. Cloud. Nah, they haven't seen him. Okay, there's the daughter of that Asian weirdo, Ra's al Ghul. Who? The guy who's got some kind of fountain of youth. Uh, Talia, uh. that's her name. Rumor has it that her father tried to do a little matchmaking between her and the Batman. Yeah, rumor has it that the Batman can fly, Selina. Well, so much for rumor. Okay, okay, people make up stories. But I've seen Talia and Batman together. Maybe they've eloped or something. The Batman's married to his work. That's what you women always forget. Are you starting with that crud again? Oh, come on, admit it, Catwoman. You'd like to get your claws into him, right? Don't you group me with that pack of sob sisters, Gordon. Now get the hell out of here before I get my claws into you! I'm going, I'm going. This is Bruce Wayne, computer on. Batman, voice identification, positive, computer on. Excuse me, sir. Not now, Alfred. I'm sorry, sir, this can't wait. Damn you, Alfred, do as I say. Master Bruce, the last time you spoke to me like that, you were six years old. Your father gave me permission to tan your backside. My father is dead, Alfred. You really don't seem to be yourself at the moment. Perhaps you should go out on patrol. Knocking criminals' heads together always seems to relax you. Besides, your absence from the rooftops is beginning to worry the popular press. That's all over now. I'm sorry? It's finished. No more playing detective. The Batman has ceased to exist. Bruce? Am I hearing right? Who's there? Master Rob... Uh, <laughs> Richard! I'm sorry, I left you waiting. I... Uh, Dick! Is that you? What's the matter? Don't you recognize me? Voice identification positive. Dick Grayson, alias Nightwing, operating out of New York City. Formerly Robin, the Boy Wonder, and Ward of Computer off. Computer off. Robin, the Boy Wonder. <laughs> it's been a while. How have you been, Dick? Good. Good. I've been good. Uh, keeping pretty busy, too. So, uh, what's going on here, Bruce? The caped crusader hanging up the old utility belt? Times have changed in Gotham City. Yeah, they'll change a lot faster once the word gets on the street that the Batman's retired. That's for sure. My mind's made up. I, uh, I have other plans. You know, Bruce, we've had our disagreements over the years, but... I... Well, gee, I never imagined I'd hear you talk like this. The past is immaterial, and this is none of your business. Now, look... I may have felt the need to step out of your shadow to prove myself on my own territory, but I, I can't just stand and watch you pull something like this. Damn it, Bruce, you're the biggest single influence on my life. You were there when I had no one, when I lost everything that mattered to me. Well, don't say that doesn't mean anything anymore. Don't say you don't remember. No. That night at Haley's Circus. Haley's Circus. Oh, yes, the fabulous Flying Graysons featuring Dick Grayson, Boy Wonder, the Robin Hood of the High Trapeze. Oh, such happy days. They were happy, Alfred, till Mr. Haley refused to join Boss Zucco's protection racket, till the night Zucco arranged to teach Mr. Haley a lesson with my parents' lives. The night I met you, Bruce. A night long gone. You made me what I am, Bruce. You gave me a home. You and Alfred brought me up. You can't deny everything you've stood for and expect me just to stand and watch it happen. If that's the way you feel about it, move back to Gotham City. Let Nightwing carry on where the Batman left off. Oh, no. Oh, no. That really would be the final humiliation. Damn it, I might be the product of our relationship, but I'm not your clone, Bruce. You take this step, you take the consequences. I have business to attend to. Alfred, we'll see you out. Bruce, wait! I'm... I'm sorry, Alfred. I tried. I thought you were exaggerating his behavior. Now I only wish you had. I really thought he was over this strange phase. I just don't know what has got into him. 
Well, Jason's left him a hell of a legacy. First he throws himself into his work with a suicidal intensity, and now he's, he's planning to quit. Um, Master Dick, nobody knows that anything has happened to Robin. You know, I often think back to the sight of you both leaving to go on patrol. No, never again. He always seemed happier with you. Things are different now. I can't make this a fairy tale with a happy ending. Even if I came back, would that wipe away the pain of what happened to Jason? I can't change what's happened. And now that I've got my independence, I'm not sure I want to. Gee, I wish I understood computers the way you do, Miss Gordon. You could come down here and learn something when you're off duty, Harvey. Gotham City Police don't use this equipment half as much as they could. Uh, can I get you another coffee? I, I'm sorry about the one I spilled. Oh, look, don't worry. It'll wash out. Now, would you mind locking me in? I have this thing about sudden callers. I'll buzz you if I need help. Uh, yes, yeah, sure. See you later. But right now, I don't want anyone to see what I'm trying to do with your fancy computer. Because either this will blow every circuit in the building, or it will tap me direct into the... Batcave computer. Enter voice identification. Bingo. Bingo does not compute. This is Barbara Gordon. Voice identification positive. Barbara Gordon, daughter of police commissioner James W. Gordon. Trained librarian whose career as costumed law enforcer Batgirl curtailed when spine severed by bullet fired by Joker. Born... Okay, okay, hold it. Damn thing's got everything but my shoe size. Five. <laughs> Gotta hand it to you, Bruce. You're thorough. Now let's start with your alter ego. Give me the current whereabouts of the Batman. Bruce Wayne, currently scheduled at the Wayne Foundation building, Gotham City, to hold press conference on liquidation of Wayne Holdings worldwide and relocation of certain of its facilities to the far what? east. Bruce Wayne, currently scheduled... Never mind, never mind. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Batman wouldn't leave his alias unprotected, not even on his own computer, unless... Where is the Batman? Repeat, the Batman. That file now closed. Request Batman file opened for scrutiny. Unable to comply. Secondary approved voice identification required before closed files can be accessed. Damn it. Oh, ah, no, wait a minute. Oh, I know it's in here somewhere. Yup. Secondary voice identification coming up. Standing by. Try this. Jim, this is the Batman. This tape cassette is to be forwarded to you in the event of my death. Voice identification. Treat what you were about to hear it. Good. Voice identified as known criminal, not authorized to enable access to closed file. What? Please provide alternative identification or terminate uh, inquiry. Oh, hold it, hold it. I need to think. Um. Ah, right. Wait a second. Batman file now accessed. Where do you wish to start? What the heck? At the beginning. The Batman, alias Bruce Wayne, son of Dr. Thomas Wayne and his wife Martha. Upbringing was by family butler Alfred Pennyworth and various European private schools after his parents were murdered. By Another drink, Commissioner? Only the best here at Arkham Asylum. Do you like the music? I'm so lucky they allowed me a phonograph. Recognize the piece? It's Die Fledermaus. Oh, maybe you're not fluent in German. A cold, logical language. Die Fledermaus, the bat. The bat man. A cold, logical psycho. No, that's not fair. Some of my best friends are psychotics. They may dress oddly, but they don't get themselves lost in broad daylight. That is why you came, isn't it? To find out if I've heard anything. Well, I'm sorry. I can't oblige. Oh, how's your daughter, by the way? Now there's a sassy little chassis. Too bad about the undercart, though. <laughs> no more Batgirl. No more Robin. And now, the Batman. Mm, poor Commissioner Gordon. Oscar Wilde would tell you that to lose one superhero is unfortunate. To lose three looks like carelessness. But the real trick is Jimbo. Not to lose me. That 
wouldn't just be unfortunate. It wouldn't just be careless. It would be deadly. <laughs> All right, I've heard enough. Open the door. <laughs> Computer continue. Batman file, subsection B. Those privy to or who have learned secret identity of Batman. Longhorn Bell, Killer Moth, Harry Larson, Barney Barrows, Frank Davis, The Batman, Duds Stop, Neary. stop. The Batman, that's the second time. Oh. Oh. Wait a minute. Computer, stand by for voice identification. Standing by. Jim, this is The Batman. Voice identified you as to hear and... known criminal, not authorized to enable access to file. I don't want authorization. I want identification. Identification coming up. Whoever you are. What are you doing up here? How can I heal you when you disobey me so? You know, my parents loved Gotham City. I wonder how they'd feel about it now. There's a cancer eating this town, and I've got to cut it out. You're still in pain. Now come back inside and rest. Just down there is a back street named Park Row. People stopped calling it that after my parents were murdered there. It became Crime Alley. Even now, I can still see their bodies lying at my feet. My seventh birthday. We'd just been to the movies. And as I heard footsteps run off into the night, I vowed to bring justice down on all criminals. To become something hated and feared by them. A seemingly supernatural, superhuman thing. A shadowy creature protecting the innocent. You see, Talia, I don't just work in this city. It's part of me, what I have become. Where could I go with you to deny myself? To deny those I've promised to avenge? Don't you understand? My father is freeing you from all that. Out of his love for me and his regard for you, he has once more emerged from the Lazarus Pit. Yes. And this time, with my face. He always knew too much about me. But then it was my fault. I never expected anyone to discover my secret. To find their way into the Batcave unbidden. Welcome home, Bruce Wayne. Or shall I address you as the Batman? Who are you? How'd you get in here? You shall learn who I am. As to finding your inner sanctum, it was a matter of some deduction and quite a degree of research. I reasoned that the Batman had to be wealthy and that he needed certain kinds of equipment. And you found that Bruce Wayne alone bought what the Batman had to have? It was a laborious search, but my methods are painstaking. Even so, that's a hole I'll have to plug. Now, what do you want? I need your help. My child has been abducted. It was the start of a search which took me to the remotest part of the Himalayas, which led me to you, Talia, and the discovery of your father's secret. The Lazarus Pit, where he resurrects himself. A phenomenon matched only by his overwhelming greed for power. Greed? He has sacrificed much to give you your freedom. The pit is losing its power. It will not further rejuvenate him more than a handful of times. My love, he has done this so that we may at last be together. You need no longer hide your humanity under Batman's cowl. Conceal your strength behind Bruce Wayne's reputation. He has relieved you of those burdens. Now, drink this. It will soothe you. No. Another cup of your medicine. And I have a feeling I'll be waking up in Nanda Parbat... You were happy there with me? Happiness isn't what I seek. Gotham City is where I belong, where I'm needed. Maybe Jason was the only one who really understood that. Jason? The other boy who worked with you? Mm. The second Robin? He knew Gotham City the way I do. He was a petty thief. He used to hang around here, stealing the wheels off cars. On the day I met him, he was trying to boost the tires off mine. He'd been orphaned, like me. But whereas my parents' money shielded me from starvation, he had to live by his wits. I knew if I left him here, I'd find myself running him in later on for something more serious. So I took him back with me. 
Gave him a home. Trained him the way I'd trained Dick Grayson. Seemed logical. Nobody had guessed the original Batman-Robin team had split up. Once Dick left to go to college, we drifted apart. Then Jason came along. He was young, fit, eager to learn, an apt student. For a while, it was as if I'd never been without a Robin. But there were undercurrents. He had a dangerous amount of aggression to work off. He became moody, resentful, reckless. I began to realize I'd made a mistake. I've noticed some disquieting things about Master Jason myself. The lad never mentions his parents, yet I've come across him crying over his old photographs. Being your partner is hardly the best situation for a teenager still adjusting to such a loss. Then I must try and rectify the situation. Jason's going off active duty immediately. And I don't have a word to say about it, huh? How long have you been hiding there, Jason? You can't be serious about this. I am. You've got a lot of anger and pain inside of you. I can handle it. We can work this out. You want to talk? Talk to Alfred. The poor child. And both parents long dead. Mm. So I thought. But then Jason discovered that his late father had remarried. His real mother was still alive. He used the computer to track her down and set off after her, alone. He never thought she might be involved with the Joker. Never guessed it might be a trap. By the time I got to him, I'd lost him. He was beaten half to death and then blown up trying to save his mother's life. You mustn't blame yourself. He'd still be alive today if I'd left him where I'd found him. In Crime Alley. How can you say that? You saved his life, my love. You delivered him. I delivered him. Right into the hands of the Joker. I've got to pay for that. You have paid. The time for looking back is... <sighs> sorry, Talia. I'm so sorry. The drug is perfectly harmless. You'll sleep for a day or so. But I have to stop your father. I just hope when you wake up, you'll understand. Master Bruce! Master Bruce! I've just heard! Alfred, I've been looking for you. I can't believe you changed your mind. For a while there, I honestly thought you were going through with this ridiculous business. What are you talking about, old man? The news, of course. They just reported it on the television. Huh. And there I was about to burn the costume. <laughs> what report? You were seen on a rooftop near Park Row. And I thought you were at the Wayne Foundation. I was at the... So this might explain the computer, unless... Unless it was you. The computer? Have you touched this computer? I gave it a flick with the duster this morning, but... Uh... Have you touched this computer? No. You know, you know I can't even do the household accounts We're on a pocket calculator. No, it is him. It must be. Master Bruce, I'm sorely tempted to tender my resignation. Hmm? Oh. <clears throat> No, I need your help. You surprise me. Somebody has accessed this computer. And now this sighting today of the Batman while well, I was at the Wayne Foundation. Are you suggesting an imposter is at large? Yes. Yes, an imposter. Then the problem is solved. The city law forbidding anyone to impersonate the Batman will soon have them behind bars. Of course, that doesn't explain the other little question. What question? Who drove the Batmobile back here to the cave? What? It wasn't here this morning. I did. Good heavens. Good evening. I am Bruce Wayne. Who are you? I am the Batman. And Bruce Wayne. B B Batman, I mean, uh, M Master Bruce. Alfred, don't stare at him when you're talking to me. But there are two of you. This is taking schizophrenia rather literally, don't you think? You're right, Alfred. Let's stop this play acting. I'm not prepared to leave Gotham City under any circumstances. Not even for Talia. Talia? I remember that name. The play acting is entirely your affair. Now wait. Both of you, keep perfectly still. There's a simple solution to this. Um, computer on. Excellent idea, Alfred. Computer on. Please provide voice identification. This is Bruce Wayne. Voice identification positive. <laughs> Bruce Wayne. You see, Alfred? Not entirely, sir. If you are Bruce Wayne, who is this? Computer, this is the Batman. Voice identification positive. Voice belongs to known criminal, the Batman. Criminal? 
What does that mean? It means he is the fake. It means the files have been switched, Alfred. And I can prove it. Computer, this is Raz al Ghul. Raz al Ghul, of course. Voice identification negative. Ras al Ghul is now Bruce Wayne. Please provide alternative identification. You've tempered with this machine? Computer, listen to me. Voice identification positive. You are Bruce Wayne. You see? Alias Ras al Ghul, the demon's head. No. You are former head of the League of Assassins. No. I no. I eight. am Bruce Wayne. He has a gun. Don't pull the trigger, Ras. Yeah. The attention. Quick, Alfred. This is most unfortunate. He must have found that up in the trophy room. It shoots backwards, you know. He didn't recognize the very booby trap he once used against me. It's a clean wound. Yes, Barbara? Batman? How did you know it would be me? Who else could have hacked into the Batcave computer? Did you monitor that little exchange back there? I sure did. It is so good to hear your voice. But Batman, listen. Dad's out looking for you. I just got word he's headed for Crime Alley. Alone. At this time of night? Batman... I'll be there. Out. Detective, I must be returned to the Lazarus Pit. Perhaps it can still revive me. The Lazarus Pit? It's where he renews himself. A kind of chemical bath. Lethal for you and me. Rejuvenating for him. What did he want here? The pit is failing. Only this computer can analyze its chemical composition, which sustains me. You... Refused to join me, so I had to take what you would not offer. Ugh. And Talia thought he was playing Cupid. Now you've got to get him on the next flight out to Nanda Parvat, Alfred. I'll alert his people at that end to prepare the Lazarus pit. Stop off at this address on the way and pick up his daughter. She'll be mad as hell, but too sedated to give you trouble. Very well, Master Bruce. I just can't understand how I was taken Save in. Save it. I've got to change into a fresh costume and get after Jim Gordon. Oh, dear. Your costume. What have you done? Burned it? No. Washed it. I'm afraid you'll just have to wear it wet. Yeah, boy, kid. Harvey, it's the commissioner. Uh, are you still at Arkham Asylum, sir? I could have your calls transferred. No, I'm in the city now, at Crime Alley. That's not a good place to be right now, Commissioner. No, it's close to where somebody thought they saw the Batman today. It's where that big explosion happened the other night, and it's the only place people say the Batman patrols on a regular basis. I sure hope you're armed, Commissioner. Things are hot tonight. Uh, you just get a unit out to this area fast as you can, right? You're right, sir. Right, out. <laughs> Man. Out of my way, son. Oh, out of my way. Big man. You two want to ride down to police headquarters? <laughs> oh, we got us a car. Look, man. This is no cop. This is Commissioner Goran, oh, Tommy. Oh, the big man. Oh, not so big without the Batman. What do you know about the Batman? <laughs> hey, we saw it, man. We saw him. He got wasted. Huh? Oh. Splat, man. <laughs> Poor Batman. The bad man's dead, man. <laughs> and so are you. Oh. Hey, leave oh. some for me, man. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's time to slice, Commissioner. Slice him, man. Yeah. Slice him up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beep, beep. Something you want to say before we cut your turkey? Beep. Behind you. Huh? The bad... I'd say reports of my death were very exaggerated. I'm out of here, man. I'm out of here. Hey, man. Ah, run, you creep. This ain't the bad man. I saw him die. You want a signed photograph? Freeze, pointy ears, or this will take your head off. You dare pull a gun on me here? How are you going to walk away from this, bad man? There are seven working defenses from this position. Oh, come on, man. Three of them disarm with minimal contact. Oh, minimal contact. <laughs> Three of them kill. Oh, mama, I'm really scared, man. I'm scared, you know. But this one hurts. Ah! Ah! No, man! No, wait, wait, man! No, don't do it, man! You think I'm dead no. now? Pump! No, man, please don't! You wanna try a little one on one with me? No, man, please! Oh, You're not old please. enough to carry firearms! Boosting tires is more your level. No, please don't! You can stop me, hitting him now, Batman! No, don't hurt me, Batman, please! Don't hurt me! My God, it could be Jason. <laughs> Jim, you okay? Uh, in better shape than he is. Give or take a rib. What are you planning to do with him? 
You better go, kid. Huh? Get out of here. And don't ever cross my path again. Madre de Dios. You got it, man. You got it. I'm gone, man. I'm gone. Hey, Batman. That cassette. I nearly gave up on you. My utility belt. Malfunction. Signaled the Batcave computer to initiate the procedure I'd arranged in the event of my death. Yeah, but what about uh, Bruce Wayne? The cassette said... The contingency plan worked. It said that you were Bruce Wayne. And his cassette said that you were the Batman. I knew you were covering your tracks. Believe me, Bruce Wayne had nothing to do with this. Oh, it's going to be a busy night. Are you okay? You never let anyone go like that before. I'm not about to make a habit of it. Let's say we owe you a favor. The punk and me both. Huh? Thanks, Jim. Batman, I, I don't understand. You never told me what that anniversary was all about. I wish for once you'd let me finish the conversation. Uh, Commissioner. C Commissioner Gordon. You found the Batman. Y you okay? Harvey, it's incredible. What? I, I think I just saw the Batman smile. Oh, boy. I gotta get you to a doctor. Come on, Commissioner. Into the car. That's it. Come on. Computer accessed. File 22321-9P. Docudrama. Title, Batman. The Lazarus Syndrome. Starring Michael Goff, Paul Maxwell, Garrick Hagan, Kerry Shale, Shelley Thompson, Lorelai King, and Alan Marriott. Featuring Bob Sessions as the Batman. The character created by Bob Kane. Program based on the works of Bob Kane, Neil Adams, Frank Miller, Dennis O'Neill, and Marv Wolfman. Published and copyrighted by DC Comics Inc., Program written by Dirk Maggs and Simon Bullivant. Technical realization by Roger Danes, Sarah Rosewarn, Allison Carter, and Ros Mason. Program produced by Dirk Maggs. This file now closed.